When days of torrential rains devastated parts of the U.S. state of Colorado last month, it was immigrant communities that were among those hardest hit. As CCTV's Steve Mort reports, when the wave of water destroyed their homes, important documents floated away as well. Northern Colorado's Weld County is home to a large immigrant population, dependent on the state's agricultural sector for work. About 10 percent of those who live in the area are foreign-born. In the wake of recent devastating floods here, immigrants, some undocumented, are seeking help. Among them, Rita Romero and his wife, who live in the nearby town of Evans, a working-class town with a growing Hispanic population. The couple and their six children lost their mobile home in the flooding and are now living with friends in a two-bedroom apartment. My wife says that everything we worked for for eight years, well, the water just took it. For eight years, we worked and lived in that trailer, and then one morning, everything was swept away. We never expected it. The water took away our documents, immigration documents, the kids' birth certificates. At this center, the immigrant rights group Al Frente de la Lucha helps both legal and illegal immigrants replace important paperwork lost in the flooding. Things like birth certificates and marriage certificates and uh, passports and, uh, and then for people who are documented immigrants, they might have lost their work permits or their um, or the residency card. Um, and those things are, are crucially important to them. Lawyers say that means some legal immigrants no longer have a way to prove their legal status in the United States. The loss of paperwork is also proving to be a challenge for undocumented immigrants. Attorneys helping flood victims living in the U.S. illegally say these migrants may find it difficult to take advantage of future immigration reforms without certain documents. There are various programs that require them to document the length of time they've been in the United States. And then if we ever do get some sort of immigration reform, that would probably involve documenting your stay in the United States. Um, and some of these people have now lost all of that documentation. But for some, like Rita Romero, the worries are more immediate. He says he's struggling to get help from FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, which has already approved $21 million in aid to homeowners and renters. Well, they've been requesting certain types of documentation. They've asked us for the ownership papers of the trailer and of our cars. They're still in that process. The long road to recovery in northern Colorado is only just beginning. And for some, that road to recovery may be made more difficult to navigate without the necessary documentation. Steve Mort, CCTV, Denver.